So Lorraine, we are now at about hour 40. It's uh, one o'clock on Sunday. They have about three or four hours to get ready. How's it going? I, I think it's phenomenal. Um, the teams have got working prototypes. They have demos. They have screen grabs. There's one team that's already lined up a restaurant that's going to test their product. We have a few outsiders that are going to come check it out. We've got one article already on one of the uh, uh, on Indie Geek has already written a feature on one of our companies. Oh, you're proud of being favored by geeks? You betcha. <laughs> now, um, on a different level. What's happening right now in the team dynamics and the flow of the, what do you call it, startup process? I think um, uh, you're at performing. If you look at the four stages of team development, norming, storming, uh, <laughs> there's conforming. Well, no, it's storming, norming, conforming, and performing. I think they've, uh, what you saw Friday night was a lot of the, the brainstorming kind of activity. Um, you saw some rules setting early Saturday morning. You saw a bunch of tension Saturday afternoon, and then everybody kind of settled in, and they started working like really well-oiled machines. These groups are in tune. They're in sync. They know what their product is. It's a beautiful thing. So in a normal startup business <laughs> cycle, we are now where? Uh, you, the might, you might final be twinking. Ten. You might be 10 months in. If you, yeah. if you look at a startup weekend, if every hour is a week, okay. we're, I don't know, we, uh, week 45, 46, you're, you're around November of your, beginning of November of your startup year. Now, as we get, the, the, the whole game is to make a presentation at the end and to have a, a winning package to offer the judges. Um, do you what 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 are what's happening there is the, there's a lot of attention focused on the global battle because it gives the teams a short-term end game mm -hmm. but the truth is that the real end game is going to happen in the weeks and months to come as some of these businesses move out beyond this environment and get sponsors get funding get customers and begin producing real revenue and some of these businesses will do you think that the average person that comes here um, this is the first time they've ever really seen it all the way through effectively and that this is uh, it, it, there's a mix there are some people in this room people um, you know this is my fourth startup weekend um, mm -hmm. and I, I have my own business that I started there are people here who've done this three and four times and there are people students who've never seen anything like this. And so it's that wonderful mix. It's always different. Um, you never know quite what the outcome is gonna be. It's, uh, I tell people it's a lot like getting um, a, graduate, a graduate degree in entrepreneurial studies in a weekend. So you've seen these other ones done in other cities. Can you tell me, is there more than corn in Indiana? There is way more than corn, and actually, um, John from Twilio, who just left, um, we were talking because he's actually traveled to, uh, so far, three different cities just this weekend, and he has been at a number of these um, events before this, and I said, you know, I think people really underestimate Indiana. Um, they really don't realize what a strong and wonderful tech community we've got, and uh, this weekend is our chance to show that off. I'll go you one better. I don't think they realize the gem of the people that that's empowered by the technology. I think I, I really that's the real misnomer. I think that what's really made uh, Indiana maybe a little different than a lot of the cities. I mean, there are cities around the world that have had these huge events and lots and lots of tech people. What's made us a little different is the balance, the fact that this is a mix of tech and non-tech, the fact that we have one of our seven companies, other than building a website, really doesn't have a software application. They are a product. I think this model, and I think we're proving that this weekend, can be used for entrepreneurial ventures of all shapes and sizes, not just tech companies. It's easy to build a tech company or easier to build a tech company in a weekend, but this can work for any business. Thank you, Lorraine. Good luck. Thank you.